What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the Simply Card Things YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and today we have a very important topic that I want to discuss which is the brand new newly unveiled G42 2 Series, the M240i more specifically. Now this is very important to me as an enthusiast because I think the 2 Series holds a very important spot within the lineup of BMW's various models. It has smaller proportions that sort of harken back to the original 3 Series or the E46 days. It has a more enthusiast focused approach when uh, designing the car and the powertrain and just sort of everything involved with the car itself. And it just feels very engaged and driver focused. Now I used to own an F22 M235i. It was a really, really fun car. Man, I enjoyed that car so much. I had so many great memories with it, taking it on so many drives. And uh, I really, really enjoyed the 2 Series platform. And when I left the 2 Series, you know, looking back on it, I really do miss that car. I genuinely do. So the arrival of this brand new generation is quite important. And it seems to have come with quite a bit of controversy, specifically pertaining to the exterior design, which we will touch on in this video. In fact, there's a lot to touch on regarding this brand new generation. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's go ahead and get right into my overall thoughts on the car. We'll talk about the design, some of the new changes, the specifications behind the car, and basically conclude and wrap things up very soon. So if you could smash the thumbs up button on this video as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel down below if you have not done so already, I would appreciate that a ton guys. So the new M240i is actually 3.5 inches longer, 2.6 inches wider, 0.1 inch lower, and it has a two inch longer wheelbase than the M240i of the F22 generation. Now, I think this was to be expected. We're obviously going to see a slightly lower, longer, wider car, etc., etc. That's just sort of the natural progression and evolving design of cars nowadays. But I think with the 2 Series specifically, this is a very welcome change. I think the F22 generation of 2 Series was a great looking car. It looked very BMW. It had a lot of BMW DNA in its design. The one thing for me though that I never liked about it was that it was just such a narrow looking car. It looked flat from the front three quarter angles. There was just no hips to the car. There was no width. There was no like girth to it. And as a result of that, it sort of had a feminine look and not to say it wasn't sporty, not to say it didn't have uh, you know, sports car characteristics in its design. It definitely did, but it sort of just lacked some of that uh, aggression, I guess, which the F87 M2 definitely fixed. But this time around with the G42 uh, 2 Series, it seems that BMW has sort of touched on that and fixed that. In fact, there are a lot of design elements that give this car a very aggressive look. For one, we have pretty wide rear and front fenders, and the front fenders and the hood, by the way, are made of aluminum, so more weight savings that's going into these cars. And those wider fenders actually give it a really muscular appearance. It's sort of hard to describe, and I think in person, that design change will be translated much better than over photos, but already, even in these press pictures and what I'm seeing from YouTube videos that I've watched of the in-person car, this new 2 Series definitely has a lot more presence on the road than the former generation. In addition to that, we also get a power dome in the hood, which is really cool. That center bulge in the aluminum hood provides another level of muscular aggression and just sporty design to the car overall. Interestingly enough now, even though the M240i is not a full-blown M car, now it gets the M mirrors as standard. So. I think BMW probably saw what people with the F22 generation were doing. They were just slapping on M-styled mirrors anyway and just ditching the standard mirror caps. I mean, even I did that. I was guilty of that myself. So I think they just kind of decided, okay, it's acceptable. It's an M-performance car. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and add the element of the M mirrors onto our M-performance model, which I think is fine. It's not blasphemy or anything. I also like the styling of the rear deck lid spoiler that's sort of integrated into the trunk. Now, the rear is a very controversial aspect about this car. It, it looks very blocky. I've seen a lot of people sort of say it resembles a Kia, and I definitely think the rear end is sort of the weak link. I think the taillights look somewhat awkward. It looks very blocky, I guess, as I stated previously. I don't really know how else to describe it. And to be honest, guys, I am not a fan of the exhaust cutouts that they're doing with the higher performance trim levels. 
Um, I think the 230i with its rear exhaust tips looks much nicer than the M240's rear exhaust cutouts. I think proper exhaust tips on a car just make it look more sporty, makes it look more aggressive. And I'm just confused why they're going with that cutout design. Not really a big fan of that. Overall, I am pretty accepting of the design of this car. I don't think it's particularly gorgeous to look at, but I also don't think it's extremely polarizing or extremely ugly like the BMW 4 Series, which in my honest opinion, and again, this is just my subjective opinion, I think the 4 Series is absolutely atrocious and hideous to look at. Cannot do it, guys. I just can't do it. The 2 Series, on the other hand, much better. It has reasonably proportional kidney grills. It has a very wide stance with those wide fenders. It has a nice set of M Sport wheels from the factory. And overall, again, the design is just not polarizing. It does look like an evolution of the F22 2 Series. So let's go ahead and touch on another big design change with this car, which is the headlights. Now, traditionally, I think it is very, very much appreciated that BMW fans love the signature angel eyes that have pretty much been in every single series of BMW and pretty much every single model since like the early 2000s, even the, the 1990s. And those angel eyes are so iconic to the front end of those cars. Now, what BMW has done here is they've completely ditched the angel eyes in favor of a singular headlight design. I'm sort of indifferent about this design change. I have always loved the angel eyes. I think they're so gorgeous on BMWs, but at the same time, I don't think what they've changed it to looks bad on the 2 Series. In fact, I think the front end actually looks pretty nice and the way that it's designed, the way everything sort of symmetrically ties together, it gives the front end a very wide appearance. The newer stretched front kidney grills, I think also sort of aid with that wide look. And overall, it just, it looks beefier. It looks more muscular than the previous two series. And not to say that equates to a exceptionally beautiful looking car, but I don't think it looks bad. I, ge I genuinely don't. I actually, for the most part, I'm in favor of a lot of design aspects within the car. Overall, I think the design language from the side profile, the rear three quarters, the front end, from most of the angles, the car doesn't look all that bad. Again, just to reiterate, I do think the rear end is probably the weakest area in terms of just the design specifically. But overall, guys, I'm really not opposed to the design of this car. I think it has a lot of potential. I think it's a great starting point for BMW, especially to see how they're gonna interpret the M2, because I think with these wider fenders, the power dome, sort of the rear deck lid, there's a lot of elements that I think have a lot of potential, uh, at least in terms of design with this car. And there's, there's not a doubt in my mind that the M240i and the M2 is going to be a performance powerhouse, especially with xDrive, the B58 engine, the amount of power it can produce, how reliable it is. And then likely the M2 is gonna have like a carbon fiber roof, even wider fenders, a more aggressive bumper design, and then the S58 engine. There's a lot to like here, guys. And I think specifically in this case, there's a lot of hate being thrown at this car, which to be fair, some of it is very well deserved. This is definitely a departure from the F22 in terms of a lot of design elements. But I respect that BMW was a little bit more conservative this time around with the new generation of 2 Series rather than how they approach something like the 4 Series. I think there's some very attractive paint color options. I'm a big fan of that Thunder Knight color, which is that purple that they released it in. I'm a big fan of the interior overall. The new interior feels classy, clean, gimmick free minimalistic, but just enough new tech and digital elements inside of it to make it feel modern and up to par with, you know, the current times. I'm also really excited to see how the aftermarket is going to handle this car, you know, front lip, a rear diffuser, um, lowered with some, you know, nice wheels and a nice stance and a proper exhaust. I think these cars are going to be looking really good on the road and I think they're going to look quite aggressive. I think it's going to take time for people to sort of warm up to to the design. Obviously the 2 Series has been around since like 2014 in terms of production years. So we're so accustomed to seeing that design. We're so accustomed to seeing, you know, the various different M2s on the road and the M240s and 235s. But this is a new generation and it's refreshing to see that. You know, it's been seven years now and not that I was getting tired of the 2 Series design. I still, again, think it's a very beautiful car, but it's time for change and with this 2 Series specifically, I'm open to it, I'm excited for it, and most importantly, 
I'm excited to see how BMW is going to do the M2. Now, if they drop the ball in the M2, <laughs> you could say goodbye to me as a BMW fan. No, I'm kidding. I I'll always like BMWs, but I'm excited for it. I think people will grow to like it over time. And uh, you know, only time will tell. The future will show us, you know, what this new two series has in store for us. So I just wanted to make a quick video, sitting down, talking about some of my, you know, subjective thoughts about the car. Uh, I'm trying to just be unbiased and you know approach it from a fair standpoint. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to disagree with me as well. You know, share your opinions. I want to have discussions with you guys and I want to hear what you guys have to say. Again, if you could go ahead and smash the thumbs up button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel down below, I would appreciate that a ton guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.